he's wearing a red shirt too. Thank you all for joining us here this afternoon. You know, first of all, I really wanted to thank Kelton Cheng and his family uh, for being willing to uh, step up and answer the call. I think all of us agree that the Department of Land and Natural Resources is the most important, or one of the most important uh, departments in state government. Um, and I just wanted to uh, thank Kelton for his um, willingness to serve. I did uh, notify the Senate this afternoon that I would be withdrawing his nomination um, from consideration. Um, I was disappointed uh, that we were, did not uh, find the support uh, for Calton. Um, you know, but I do respect the process. The process is very clear. The Senate has the constitutional authority uh, to make a determination about whether the nominee is uh, the right nominee. I know that there were lots of strong opinions um, voiced in, in Carlton nomination, and I do respect the process. Um, Carlton, did you want to make a comment? Thank you, Governor. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your patience in the process. It's been a fair process. I appreciate it. The job is very important, as many of you do, and it requires uh, someone to come in and help with the right passion, the right fit for that job. And I'm certain that Governor Eagle will find that person. Thank you. Question? What Good happens now, Governor? Why this to this point, to the 11th hour, to withdraw the nomination? Uh, you know, there was broad-based support for Carlton through the process, you know, and um, it, didn't, it didn't become obvious that he uh, did not have uh, majority support until shortly before session this afternoon, this morning. Governor, can you clarify why there was no floor vote to, uh, to express whether he had that support on the floor? Yes, I, you know, we uh, talked about that, you know, from my, from my perspective, I, uh, I did not want to put Carlton or his family a floor vote if he uh, did not have a majority support. What was your understanding as to what the count was? You know, you're going to have to talk to the senators uh, and, and make that determination. Uh, I do know that there wasn't majority support for his nomination. Uh, up to this day, did you have a feeling that there was going to be a slim chance of Mr. Jing getting in? Well, I up until this point, I, I believed he was going to get in. So. You know, there was broad support uh, early in the week. Okay. Why do you think it changed? You know, I just think it's a it's it's the process. You know, senators are meeting with lots of people, uh, trying to make decisions. You know, Carlton was available to meet with uh, any senator or anyone as the process went through to respond to concerns or questions. So, I mean, I think that that's the confirmation process. But initially, Governor, you had 7,500 people on a petition, which is enough to elect the senator from any district. Do you think that would, that should have been heated first? Well, you know, I do think that the, that's the process. You know, it's, um, we, uh, I make a nomination, the Senate has the ability and authority to uh, advise and consent, you know, and we take testimony, everyone has the opportunity uh, to share their concerns or share their support. Uh, there was broad-based support for Carlton, um, but, um, in the most important area, which is really the votes of the senators, there was a majority. Is there another place in his your administration position? for him? You know, I've not had any uh, discussions with Calton about that. We were focused on um, having him serve as the chairman of the department. Would you do it? Do this process the same way again, or would, or was it also a learning? Effort on your on your part. You know, I, um, Richard, I do believe that every uh, process is a learning process. I learned a lot um, uh, about um, the process, about um, the challenges in assembling a cabinet. I learned a lot about the confirmation process. So obviously, uh, there are many lessons to be learned. And what are you going to do going forward, Governor? Yep, I'll find uh, 
a great candidate to serve in, as chairman of the Department of Land and Natural Resources. Do you pick somebody of Mr. Uh, similar background to Mr. Ching? I am focused on finding the best candidate I can, a candidate that shares my values of uh, open and honest communication, uh, looking for uh, being respectful and considering all views, and then um, someone committed to doing the right thing the right way. Would you consider a consensus help uh, uh, provide names uh, to collaborate with you on on a list of be willing you to know, we, entertain we them? You know, we definitely will be looking, and for anyone wanting to uh, offer um, nominations, I'm, I'm, again, willing to, to consider any anyone who's interested in serving. So clearly, if organizations want to um, provide resumes, I'm more than willing to accept them. Do you have a few names in mind? Sorry, 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 seems like everybody's jumping in, so I'm going to start just picking. So one here, and then we'll go Jim, and then uh, Chris. Are you willing to have a search committee for this DLNR position? No, I don't really think a search committee works in this process. You know, I, uh, I, I'm looking for people who are com compatible with my um, preferences in terms of management style. It's really <coughs> about trying to... Um, recruit the best candidates. So, Jim? Yeah. Governor, along those lines, you, know, you, you took some heat for choosing Mr. Ching because of his background. Does that mean that you're going to steer clear of that type of a pick for your next choice for that position? I am committed to finding the best executive uh, and leader that I can find. What does that mean? Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, it's hard. I'm not going to label people or I'm not going to put them into boxes. You know, it's really about finding a leader uh, who uh, provides the, the appropriate uh, skills that can move the department forward. Chris? Governor, do you have any regrets <coughs> with your nomination? I do regret the fact that Carlton won't have the opportunity to serve the people of Hawaii. I, I uh, over this process, have really gotten to know him even better than I did when we started. Uh, and I do know that he would have made a great uh, chair for the department. I'm disappointed that he won't have that opportunity. Okay. Um, I understand uh, a few years ago uh, when um, now Senator Thielen was, um, was selected, that was after a consensus-based process, uh, after a nominee had been withdrawn. Would you consider um, that type of process, one that involves more um, public input? Well, you know, I, th I think the, the way the process sticks out, the public input is the confirmation process. You know, I will be uh, looking for candidates. As I started, you know, I'm willing to consider any uh, and, and review any resumes that anyone might um, want to make. You know, and then it's really about meeting and talking and, and finding the best candidate that I can. Has, has this uh, process changed your view of the Senate, uh, the senators that last year were your colleagues. Have you changed you know, I, that? I respect the Senate. You know, I've uh, been there for a long time. You know, they are committed to doing what they believe to be their job. You know, and I'm committed to do my job, so. Okay, sorry. Oh, we have somebody over here first. Henry, hold on. Next okay. to you. Go oh, now. Yeah. How about um, with the uh, Kekoa Kaluhiwa? Um, we find in the Native Hawaiian community Kiko Kaluhiwa is an extraordinary individual. Um, what do you think about him being nominated? You know, I think we're going to look at all candidates, and uh, he, he, I have not <coughs> had any conversations with Kiko. So, I mean, we are uh, looking at, uh, you know, getting an, an, another nominee. Marcel, and then him. Governor, do you feel that this this battle and all that's kind of all this controversy that's transpired this early in your term was worth it? Oh, absolutely. You know that's the process. You know I'm committed. Like I said, my responsibility is a set, assembling the best leaders that I can find. You know I I thought that Carlton would do a great job as chairman of the department. Um, the Senate felt otherwise. And we're back to the same process, you know. I, it's my job to find a, a candidate, and uh, it's the Senate's job to advise and consent. So, Henry, what do you think of the effort to break up the <coughs> department into two agencies? 
you know, Henry, I would love to consider that, but, you know, any kind of restructuring of the department is a legislative issue. We have to go through legislation. Um, you know, I have told people, and it did come up uh, previously about uh, restructuring the department, but obviously that's not something the governor can do. It's something the legislature needs to uh, be engaged with. And, you know, I got elected, and that's the organization. I filled it in, in that capacity, and any uh, changes or uh, restructuring would occur, you know, through the legislative process. Uh, Wayne? Governor, uh, Senator Thielen said, you know, there's a, going to be a lot of healing that has to be done. Are you and uh, Carlton Ching going to be in that process, a part of that process, healing. the healing? Well, I mean, you know, we are moving forward. There's uh, much work to be done. Cardi, uh, Cardi Chang has done a great job uh, and, you know, will continue to do so. You know, we are continuing to um, move the legislative process uh, forward. Um, you know, and I, I'm committed to engaging the public. You know, we have a number of initiatives that's really focused about uh, bringing the community together. You know, I've been advocating and including uh, in my budget a request um, uh, a review of the state functional plans, and that process in and of itself is a statewide process, uh, looking to engage the community to determine priorities uh, in all of the um, departments. So, I mean, I think that that's, that's part and parcel. You know, that's not something new. That I've been working and doing it <coughs> uh, all the way through. Chris? Do you have anyone in mind for your next nomination, or are you going to literally be starting from scratch, and when no, can we I expect? No, I don't have anybody in mind. So we are starting over, and we'll be looking at um, a gentleman here. And then uh, there's no, somebody else who hasn't asked a question. I know I see Anita. Uh, and then, uh, okay, please. Okay, uh, Governor, um, something that came up in the hearing that was um, um, good to hear is that Carlton is looked upon as somebody that could head up another part of uh, the government, like DBET or something. We need someone of his expertise in that kind of capacity. Would you be looking at appointing him to a department such as that where we could utilize his skills? Well, we haven't really had that um, conversation. You know, I, I, I'll be speaking with Carlton. Um, but, you know, uh, we've uh, filled most of the uh, department heads already. So, you know, whether there's another place for Carlton, uh, we'll, we'll look at it and see, and if Carlton's interested, we'll, we'll pursue it. But, you know, obviously, we haven't had any of that conversation. It sounds like that's pretty much everybody's questions. Did anybody have any questions for Carlton? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Carlton? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. Carlton. Uh, Marcel, then. Mr. Ching, just in general, and I guess aside from anything that might transpire with, with uh, the governor might be able to, to offer, I'm just curious, what's next for you? What's the next step? I, I get to... Uh, Hug and kiss my family. In Jerusalem. Uh, we move forward. This is not a setback for me. You continue to do what you do. You move forward. Step forward. So that's my plan in general. Yeah. Um, do you plan to return to um, the the same job that you had before? I was on paid leave, so mm -hmm. I have the option to return. Uh, I, I may have another option to uh, do something else. I'm not sure. You gotta move forward from this, and it's, it's not a setback to me. It's you know, part of the process. I understood, and I believe I'm better for it. So thank you. Are you feeling yeah, relieved, or how are you feeling at this point? I wanted to serve. That's why I stepped forward. I wanted to serve for this governor, to commit to him, the state. So obviously, when you walk into a game, you want to win. You never go in wanting to lose. That's in anything you do. So I'm a little disappointed, but that's the process that I was put through, and I accept the process. Would Jim? you consider another Sorry, position? sorry, Jim. Jim. Okay. Mr. Ching, uh, on a personal note, how, how tough was it on, on your family for you to go through this process in light of the hearings that you had last week? And then my family is my foundation. And you saw them, they stood by me all through the process. That's what we did. How wearing was it on your family? I have to feed them every other night. Stay, so they're okay. Mm -hmm. We're not wounded by this. We, we move on as our own honor. That's our strength. Just 
just wanted to see if you would consider a position. Uh, I know uh, Senator Thielen said you'd be great with you know, looking at TOD, uh, since you're, you've got a great background with development. I mean, are you open to that? Uh, I appreciate that observation, uh, but it's really up to the governor. I, I came, I was willing to serve because of his requests. I believe in him, I believe in what he's doing. Uh, we haven't discussed it anymore. Okay. Um. Yeah. yeah, just to follow up on that question, I mean, you obviously is a very talented guy. Um, we could really use you in the government, you know, utilize your skills. Isn't there any Certainly they are, but I, I defer to the governor. I want to be part of his team uh, and, and, frankly, not have to go through this kind of process again. To me, it, it doesn't help us in trying to move issues forward. Uh, we, we ought to be on the same page, where we can, all of us. Anita and then Keith. Um, Mr. Leon, given the result and the difficulty of the process, do you have any regrets about accepting um, the position in the first place? No regrets. definition of collaboration, you know, knowing that at the very beginning you, there were immediately 7,500 opposing and, you know, very apprehensive, and also this was really only one of 39 nominations, but it appears that it was push and shove, slash and burn to the very end. That, to us, did not come across as collaboration. You know, ra rather, it was rather more like pushing your weight? Um, you know, I think you need to uh, speak with the senators and ask if they really felt um, that I was pushing. You know, we made ourselves available to, to respond to any questions or concerns they have. Um, you know, it, uh, you know, the, the cabinet is a personal decision. It's not something, um, yes, yeah, so uh, there are people that I've approached who don't, doesn't want to be identified as a as a candidate for these positions. Uh, so I'm uh, entertaining a process that I believe allows me to find the best candidate and best leaders that I can find. You know, and at the point that um, that I make a decision, then the advice and consent process is the, pub the public's opportunity to respond to the nominations made. So it sounds like from most of the questions, you know, we're starting to have some repeats. Is there anybody else with a question that hasn't been asked yet? Okay, great. Thank you, everyone. Uh, thank you all for joining us. Thank you, us Governor. <coughs>